Hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to quickly talk about uh, multiple sclerosis or MS and it's quite a common condition that affects about two people in every thousand, um, so a lot of people in the world. Um, and it's thought to be an autoimmune problem and an autoimmune problem is where the body for some reason starts to break down its own tissue or work against itself uh, yeah, and cause problems within the body. Um, but as I said, it's, it's not really known why that happens in the first place. Um, chiro in, in terms of chiropractic, we don't really see the body as something that breaks down and starts to work against you. We always see the body as something that's striving to, to work for you and function at, it, function at its best if it's given the chance. So we always try and have, have that viewpoint of the body rather than it breaking itself down. We try and take a step further back or why is it breaking itself down? And Multiple sclerosis is actually a, a disease of the if you like the, the nerve of tissue um, and what the body is thought to do is break down the fat cells surrounding the outside of the, the nerve and this serves as a bit of an insulator so we have the nerves and we have the cells around the outside and it's like the plastic tube when you put on a, on a wire it allows that um, conduction to happen at a much faster rate. In MS we have rather than this we have the body's breaking it down and forming sclerotic lesions uh, and this is going to alter how that nerve functions so the interesting thing about this is that when we've looked through research there's a high association of uh, ms sufferers and head and neck trauma in in the past so something we'll always ask every person that comes into our office have you had any head and neck traumas have you had any accidents uh, car accidents sports injuries and more often than not uh, in particular these cases, people are having head and neck traumas prior to the onset of this happening. So that's an, just an interesting point. Um, and what we look at then is we look at the alignment of the, the upper neck. Now, why is this important? Well, around this area is where what's called CSF drains out the brain and goes around the spinal cord. So if we're getting a interference with that it's going to have a negative effect on the brain and on the nervous system and on the nervous tissue if you like. Now the cerebral spinal fluid is important for a number of reasons. First of all it's made in the central most portion of the brain and this is quite commonly where we'll see those what's called sclerotic lesions uh, on MRI scans. So this is where it starts but it's also where we'll see those lesions and it comes out of the central, central most portion of the brain, surrounds the brain and then drains through the base of the skull called the foramen magnum and then through this little button here uh, and then it comes down and what it does is it coats the brain it surrounds it it gives it nutrients and then it takes away waste products so that's important um, and the third thing that it does is that it gives a brain this sort of buoyant uh, buoyancy effect if you like in the brain so that your brain that your brain and brainstem isn't just sat on the bottom of your neck but actually it floats and it's buoyant so when we see concussions and things this is when we crudely if you like see the brain that sort of rattled and we start to see problems uh, happening that way but if we have a damning back effect if we have a misalignment this top part of the neck out if it's out of position it can then start to affect how that fluid flows out of the um, base of the brain and what we could see is if we get that damning back, we could start to get a damning back effect. And this could potentially start to cause some of those sclerotic-like lesions that we're seeing. Now, this isn't to say that chiropractic care is a treatment for these sclerotic lesions, but it has been observed that patients under upper cervical chiropractic care have seen changes in those for the better and sometimes resolution alongside improvement in symptoms. And there's a couple of links in the blogs that I've uh, posted I'll put the link below this video, um, which is super interesting. And what we do in our office is we do analyze this portion of the neck. We look to see, is it in alignment? And we look to see if it's having an effect on the nervous system. And then we make the corrections to make sure that it's in the correct alignment and that it's, having, it's not having a negative effect, but your body's nervous system can function at its best. And in these sort of cases, it's not necessarily uh, a treatment for it, as I said, but it's not gonna, serve as a, as a bad thing. Having your spine in the correct alignment, having your nervous system working correctly can only serve you in a positive way. So hopefully that's helpful. If anyone has any specific questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to answer them. Um, yeah, I hope you have a good day.